this portion to Q&A now. Does anyone have any questions um, about any of the information the panelists have given Um, since it all will start from the 2014, the talks are still going on. Uh, and for every private insurance company, that is different. So everyone can change their own rules about that. So I think it was just, it's just a matter of time. But it will, it will come out. Also, for people who are dependent on the Ryan White or for ADAP, um, because of all the changes that are coming in, they'll not be able to be eligible for Medi Medicaid. So um, I, I think it's just a matter of time. those medications are going to react differently to you as a woman um, than all of the research, all the scientific research coming out of the FDA and all of the academic institutions um, in the world have shown. Um, because all of that research has been done on, like I said, predominantly white, middle-aged, uh, middle-class men. Uh, clearly we know that just even in terms of hormones, uh, between men and women are different, and hormones react very differently within our bodies as women to these medications. Um, so it oftentimes takes women a lot more jumping around on these medication regimens to find one that actually works for them than it does for men. So that's, does that answer your question? Yeah. Your metabolism changes hormones, then you have other issues, menopause, so you need to add another regimen or a few regimens to the treatment. One of the things that they're finding with people who are positive and on, on um, regimens is that it actually ages you yeah. in a different way. So for example, <coughs> you can be 50 chronologically, but your body's actually 70 internally. Um, a 23-year-old had said she feels like a 90-year-old. Because it, um, your body just kind of shuts down. Is that from the virus? It's from both. It's from like, oh. yeah, from pretty much your lack of immune response to the virus, but then also the side effects of the drugs. And I was just also going to say that um, for women, they experience a lot more side effects from these medications than men do. That's another thing that both ages people um, as well as what you're talking about, like going through menopause and having to potentially change your drug regimen. Um, that's another reason. It's just women have more side effects than 